Hi everyone, welcome to the next new class and the next new session. Today we are going to discuss second order linear differential equation and a theorem principle of superposition. Okay, let us start. Second order linear differential equations. Second order linear differential equations. General second order linear differential equation is d square y by dt square plus p of t into dy by dt plus q of t into y equal to g of t. Where p of t, q of t and g of t are functions of t alone or constants. Once more, the general form of second order linear differential equation is d square y by dt square plus p of t into dy by dt plus q of t into y equal to g of t. Where p of t, q of t and g of t are functions of t alone or constant. In equation 1, if g of t is equal to 0, in equation 1, g of t equal to 0, then equation 1 is said to be homogeneous. Equation 1 is said to be homogeneous second order linear differential equation. In equation 1, g of t is not equal to 0. Then equation 1 is said to be non-homogeneous second order linear differential equation. Here in equation 1, g of t is not equal to 0. Then equation 1 is said to be second order non-homogeneous linear differential equation. Okay, clear? Next we are going to discuss a theorem. Principle of superposition. Principle of superposition. Okay, the statement is if y1 and y2 are two solutions of the differential equation L of y is equal to y double dash plus P of t y dash plus Q of t y equal to 0. If y1 and y2 are two solutions of the differential equation y double dash plus P of t y dash plus Q of t y equal to 0. Then the linear combination C1 y1 plus C2 y2 is also a solution of this differential equation for any constants C1 and C2. Next we are going to prove this theorem. Consider second order homogeneous linear differential equation. The standard form of this is L of y is equal to y double dash plus P of t y dash plus Q of t y is equal to 0. If y1 and y2 are two solutions of this differential equation, then we can write, if y1 is the solution of this, then we can write L of y1, okay, L of y1 is equal to y1 double dash plus P of t y1 dash plus Q of t y1 equal to 0, putting it as equation number 2. Also, y2 is the solution of equation 1. Then we can write L of y2 equal to y2 double dash plus P of t y2 dash plus Q of t y2 equal to 0. This is equation number 3. Here we have to show that the linear combination C1 by 1 plus C2 y2 is a solution of equation 1. Okay, so substitute y equal to C1 by 1 plus C2 y2 in equation 1. We get substitute y equal to C1 by 1 plus C2 y2 in equation 1. We get in equation 1 substitute y equal to C1 by 1 plus C2 y2. We get L of C1 by 1 plus C2 y2 equal to here y double dash we substitute the value of y we get c1 y1 plus c2 y2 double dash plus p of t into here y dash we substitute the value y here we get c1 y1 plus c2 y2 dash plus q of t into here y is c1 y1 plus c2 y2 from this we can write here c1 y1 plus c2 y2 double dash we can write it as c1 into y1 double dash plus c2 into y2 double dash plus p of t into here c1 y1 plus c2 y2 whole dash that is equal to we can write 
P of T into C1 by 1 dash plus C2 by 2 dash plus Q of T into C1 by 1 plus C2 by 2. Clear? From this we can write taking C1 outside. Then we can write here Y1 double dash. Okay? Plus here Y1 dash P of T. That is P of T into Y1 dash. Okay? Plus here C1 by 1 into Q of T. That is we can write Q of T into Y1. Taking C2 outside from this. Okay? We get C2 into here Y2 double dash plus P of T into Y2 dash plus Q of T into Y2 equal to 0. Okay? We know that Y1 double dash plus P of T Y1 dash plus Q of T Y1 is L of Y1. Also Y2 double dash plus P of T Y2 dash plus Q of T Y2 is L of Y2. Substitute the value we get. Get C1 L of Y1 plus C2 L of Y2 equal to 0. Therefore Y equal to C1 Y1 plus C2 Y2 is a solution of equation 1 for any values of the constant C1 and C2. Now we conclude that if Y1 and Y2 are solutions of the differential equation, L of Y equal to Y double dash plus P of T Y dash plus Q of T Y equal to 0, then the linear combination C1 Y1 plus C2 Y2 is also a solution for any values of the constants C1 and C2. Okay?